I decided the best way to make money on my account is to mine rune rocks. However, every rune rock location is infested with bots. It's really rare to find a world that actually has unmined rune rocks in it. So what I have to do is go to the PvP worlds, where many bot makers don't program their bots to go for fear of dying and losing all their stuff. But even if they do, my accounts are made for player killing. Time to mine some rune rocks, and if anybody gets in my way, they will die. While I was hopping around, I decided to visit the Ammonite Crabs, where a lot of people AFK. Maybe they're doing their homework or grabbing a juice box out of the fridge, I don't know. The point is, you shouldn't look away from your account if you're in a dangerous area on a PvP world. I'll come back for you, fella. Come on, baby. Come on, give me the kill. Yes, 37 max hit. Beautiful. Oh, <gasps> region bracelet. Spiked manacles as well. So good, man. I love this build. Oh, baby. The beautiful loot there. Four mil. I see the rune rocks here are mined. Someone's been here recently. Oh my. Hello. Hello? You can't attack people here? Jagex. What are you doing? I'm trying to take care of the bot problem for you. Man, you think you can help, but they don't let you. Found some other people while roaming the PvP worlds. This guy, AFK. 26, 26, not a bad hit. And this guy was botting, clicking the agility bars. And it took me a while, but I finally distracted enough chaos druids in order to take out this guy. Not as good loot this time. But back on track, trying to make money on my low level Iron Man account. And I can't do that with all these bots taking over the rune rocks. It's time to fight back. That's it. That's it. You perished. Beautiful. And now I can mine at peace. Look at that. Got the rune ore. Sniped it from him. Okay, I'm not really that good at taking my own advice, and I died while AFKing. I thought at first the same bot I had just killed maybe misclicked on me or something, because he didn't pick up any of my rune ore, and I picked it all back up. But I actually figured out later it's a Venezuelan person, not a bot, and for some reason he just didn't pick up my rune rocks. As a thank you for not picking up my rune ore, I decided not to kill him, and I very politely let him know that the PvP worlds are dangerous and that he could lose all of his stuff. <laughs> I recently made a hardcore Iron Man myself and put it in a very dangerous area. But I was fully aware of what I was doing while I did that. I'm afraid to say this guy had no idea what he was in for when he decided to come and train some melee stats at the Sand Crabs, not realizing this is a PvP world. What? No, I'm not gonna kill him, I'm not gonna kill him, I'm not gonna kill him. Oh my god, what are you doing? Yep, that's right. This guy with 99 fire making and many, many other good stats was one game tick away, less than one single second away from losing his status and having to restart all over again. Fortunately, I was able to think in time, but although he has made a mistake in joining the PvP worlds, not something worth taking his status over, and I probably wouldn't have gotten much loot anyway. Hopefully, this guy knows by now do not AFK in PvP worlds. But we wouldn't be here if that was the case for everybody. Yeah, he's Let's get him. You're dead. What? 30, 31! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, that guy just got set! What do you have? What the f? What? Holy shit! There's no way! Bro, come Zaya! Holy shit! What? Claws! What? Come Zaya! No! <laughs> oh! So uh! Now this was actually over a year ago on Alfie's Twitch channel, but as this was a drunk stream with Alfie, 
I was using his PC at the time and I wasn't recording, nor was I on a different account to actually loot any loots. I didn't expect much from logging in for an hour or so. And of course, I got the biggest PK I have ever gotten on this account. The Dragon Claws were on the ground for a good 10 minutes or so because they don't disappear in PvP worlds when someone has died. And I was trying to get anybody that was already on World 325 to come loot the Dragon Claws because they don't show up unless you're already on the world. You have to already have been on the world if you want to see any of the loot. One of the viewers messaged all their friends on World 325, one of them came and snatched up the Dragon Claws, and they actually gave Alfie and I 25 mil. I happened to be in a call with Framed, and he told me there was someone with a lot of loot that I could come take out on my Solus Atomus account. As quickly as I could, I geared up and made my way to Yanil. Are you, almost, are you almost here, by the way? Because like, I'm not going to like sit here and like be like, you should AFK. I'm legit geared up, bro. Just like stalling for 20 more seconds. Stan, you're looting this, by the way. Like, you could have the loot. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> what? I had hidden player attack options. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had to put auto retaliate on quickly. <laughs> oh you should have had a uh, good fight as an Iron Man, by the way. Oh, you're right. Crap. That was mean. <laughs> that was so mean. I really appreciate it, because I could, um... But I've jumped the gun on this video. Let me take you back to how my quest to eliminate the AFKers and the bots first began. A new 10 level milestone, 90 mining. I've been here for ages, but it's gonna pay off in the long run. And there it is. 91 mining, the last of the Motherload mine for the foreseeable future. Maybe forever. Because now, I turn to rune ore to make about 100 mil. That's my goal. In pretty good standing. Already 417 rune ore. I think that's 4.3 mil, something like that. But I need more. Not just the 70 mil for 99 construction, but also I might as well get 100 mil if I'm aiming for that high of a number. So that's the goal. And it begins by mining rune rocks. First in the mining guild to test that method. And if that doesn't work out, if there are too many bots, then I will try Fossil Island, which may be more promising. Ah, achievement task complete. Hello, Mr. Bot Boy. I got unidentified minerals. A lot of bots, though. Probably can't stay here for long. Got about these old things. I have the superior mining gloves. I guess I did a lot of mining here earlier, probably in a previous episode. Once again, my hard work from the past pays off in the present. But let's use these babies at Fossil Island. All right, my first rune ore at Fossil Island. That was pretty quick. Let's see how occupied this is with bots. Alright, this is actually disgusting. There's so many bots, I can't find a world. Yeah, okay. But, this guy's level 56. My other account, Solus Atomus, is actually really close to that, so if this guy's going to PvP worlds, I could take him out. The first inventory of rune ores. Look how many gems I got as well. The superior mining gloves actually helped out quite a bit there. I haven't built this chest yet, darn it. Hello, Peter. It's time to fix up this camp. Bank chest built, spinning wheel constructed, as well as the loom. The well has been built, as well as the crafting table. Fire pit has been built as well, 41 construction. I think Peter here will give me some fossils. Yes, he does. Thank you. I can redeem these for more Slayer experience. Mm-hmm. Too many bots at Fossil Island. I may need to try a different strategy. Bro. I'm in the wilderness, and I can't use my looting bag. If I don't die while in the wilderness, then I'll consistently pull about 580k every single trip. So, yeah, that would be sick, but I just can't die. I need to be in only skill total worlds. The reason I went to the wilderness in the first place is because although I can fend off the PvP worlds and try to keep the rune ore there for myself, three PvP worlds is not enough. That's only six rune ore in total and it takes them 12 minutes to spawn each. So I need higher skill total if I'm going to take this seriously so that I can go to those other worlds as well. These bots are at every rune rock location, usually on hacked accounts. The sad thing is, I can't take any measures against the people in the mining guild, because PvP has been disabled here. They would be so easy to take out for all their rune ore, but the reason why it's a safe zone 
is because Jagex were trying to patch a iron ore method that was the best mining XP in the game. They did it successfully by disabling PvP in the entirety of the mining guild. But now there is no recourse for all these people that are farming millions of GP from the runite ore. I have to say, one of the most fun things about PvP worlds is the unpredictability of being able to find anybody anywhere. And if people want to bypass resource competition, then they should be able to do so in a dangerous area. And an extension of that idea, I think RuneScape's most profitable money makers should have an element of risk to them where a player may be able to kill them for exploiting the best money in the game. Currently, that's not how old school RuneScape operates, but it's a dream I have that hopefully comes into reality at one point. Granted, for the people that do exploit the dangerous low competition areas that do exist in old school RuneScape, hopefully they do it responsibly. And remember, not to AFK in PvP worlds.